Hey guys, Jesse here with my new spawn mask. This thing took me about 13 to 14 hours to print with my K1 Max. But man, this thing came out amazing. I love it. I didn't do much sanding to it. I just did like a really light sand. Uh, I could have done better with a paint job, as, as you can see. Stop judging. <laughs> Especially over here. Ah. <laughs> but still, it still looks crazy. I still love it. Uh, sadly, it's too small for my head. I still need to get better at size and helmets to my head size. But it's whatever. It's going to be hanged on the wall for sure. It looks sick. <laughs> um, I got the file from Nico Industries. This is where I get a lot of my files from. Um, they make some really great stuff. I have another one actually printed right now from, from his website. I've been waiting for this this helmet. It's from an anime. So I can't wait for that one. It, it, that one's, I was so excited. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to check him out, his website, I'll leave like a link or a comment link, whatever, to his website. You can go check it out. I do get commission from it, so it helps me out. But yeah, dude, they, they make some great stuff. Uh, like I said, I've made a lot of my helmets, lums from his website. They do a, such a great job. I, I just love it. Just love it so much. But yeah, uh, usually I'll have a time lapse with my videos, but uh, sadly with the K1 Max, it came with a recent update. Um, so when you run out of filament or do like a filament swap, I'm not sure about the filament swap, but I know once you run out of filament and you swap in it, it just stops the time lapse right there and then kind of sucks so no time lapse sad so uh, ho hopefully they fix that or I might just have to find a way to work around it but yeah either way um, so look forward to the next video but uh, I can't wait for that helmet oh I'm so excited <laughs> but yeah I'll see you guys later <laughs>